having laid all this groundwork to say this is how you could be mistaken, these two things aren't linked, and you want to improve one without undermining the other, then we finally in the book to the specifics of the exercise program that um, we recommend. And the program is weight training based. And we don't get very complicated with it. We pick five basic exercises that are multiple joint movements that are very difficult to perform and that cover all the musculature of the body. And we lay out an exercise protocol that involves lifting the weights ferociously hard. It's very intense, it's very unpleasant, but it's done with a protocol that limits force to an extremely safe level. So what we're doing is we're producing a very aggressive, rapid, deep level of fatigue, but doing it in a way that doesn't bring injurious force to the body. Nautilus and Arthur Jones, the inventor of Nautilus, is the germ cell for all of this version of exercise. What happened is over time, there were more and more refinements in making the exercise more intense, and there was more and more data accumulated about what the recovery interval actually was. Uh, Mr. Jones came out in the 1970s when popular weight training lore had people working out in the gym four hours a day, six days a week. So going down to a half hour three times a week was a revolutionary reduction in volume. And that reduction in volume was predicated on an increase in intensity. But as they researched that more and more, what they found was the stimulus or the trigger for this adaptive response to occur was an aggressive level of fatigue of the muscle. And once you reach that threshold of stimulus, doing it again is sort of like being at the elevator and you press the button and the elevator's not coming quick enough for you so you hit the button again. That's what multiple sets are akin to is standing at the elevator and pressing the button over and over again. You can press it as many times as you want but one was all it took to get the thing to come down. Same thing with exercise. If you apply the stimulus appropriately the first time, you've triggered the response. If you do it over and over and over again, you're just creating more mechanical work and fatigue that your body has to recover from and you're kind of undermining the process. So the basis of this kind of exercise is not to figure out how much exercise can I stand, we're trying to figure out exactly how little do you require to reach the goal. And the 12 minutes a week comes from when you do it properly, when it's really hard and you're producing the appropriate level of fatigue in a short amount of time, 12 to 15 minutes is about all you want and it's all you can stand. On average, what we find is the average recovery for the general populace falls at about seven days. Some people are ready by the third day. Some people aren't ready until the 10th or 12th day. And the way we know that is we keep very meticulous records. If we've applied the exercise stimulus appropriately and we've allowed the body enough time to make its adaptive response, at the next workout you should indicate being stronger on every single movement. At either the same or an increased weight, you should have a longer elapsed time until you reach complete muscular fatigue. And we use that as feedback because at once a week you may come to a point where all of a sudden by the next workout you didn't show progress or you even retrogressed. And that's our signal that we need to manipulate the workout to either be shorter, have a longer recovery interval, or a combination of the two. But it's different on different individuals, but on average it's about once every seventh day.